officially opened. The new library section dedicated to the LGBTQ plus community saw its opening to the public. A collaboration between the library, Pride in North Cumbria, and LGBTHQ came together to facilitate the section's creation. Um, it came about um, because as a library service we are um, committed to providing as wide a range of material as possible and um, we aim to support the information and cultural and leisure needs of all of the communities in Cumbria. We're always looking for ways to extend our range of services and as part of that we actively engage with all the communities and tailor um, the services to meet their needs. The new section is home to a range of books that have been in the library for some time, but have only now been gathered in the same location. It's, it's a, the, wide, the whole spectrum. So we've got books that are written by LGBTQ writers, um, but we also have books about issues which are um, of particular need or concern to the LGBTQ community. February is LGBT History Month, so it's quite appropriate that we're launching the collection this month. I think as a library service um, it's important that we do meet the needs of all local people um, and um, we are a very, um, we're considered a very open and safe space and we are um, completely um, equal in our approaches to everybody. Representatives from the LGBTQ plus community expressed their happiness at the events of the day. It's happening here today at the library is, is wonderful. It's so important to have uh, you know, a dedicated section of books. There's been so many um, outstanding authors uh, and, and publishers of books over the years, and very much so now, with the, they've got some of the new books in for us. But they added that even with this step in the right direction, there is still a long way to go. We've got so far, we've moved on equality and diversity, has come an awful long way since, since I was young. Things have, have changed tremendously. But there is still hate crime, homophobic, transphobic. It is still out there. And Cumbria Police and Crime Commissioner just released some <coughs> figures just uh, in, in the last few weeks. And numbers you know, of, of hate crime incidents are still on the increase. And particularly in, in a rural county like Cumbria, we, you know, perhaps things are perhaps a little bit more hidden. Um, small communities, may, you know, people might not be accepted. People still move away. Still people move away from Cumbria, which is so sad. So anything that helps to um, keep the LGBT banner flying. Local government officials made it clear that the library has their full support. We need to make sure that as a county council that we're inclusive to every section of the community. This has been done with donations from Cumbria Pride and from Cumbria Pride nationally as well so that they've got some money to get some really interesting books. It's small at the moment but I'm a great believer that in, from a small start you can go big and my ambition is to see this in every single library in Cumbria. It's a start. We've got to celebrate everybody, regardless of what you are, colour, caste or creed, or your sexual orientation. It is very important. With the new section now fully accessible to the public, everyone is hoping that we can turn the page and enter a new chapter on the road for acceptance to all. Kira McFadgen, That's TV.